Hey guys, Jeff here, and today I thought I'd jump into the Mini Lock Monday. I've got a whole chain here. Just thought I'd work my way through. Now just for showing, there's no names. There's an Avis, a Master Lock, TSA, and an Ace. I just figured we would let the camera go, see how we do. Some of these have been shown before for various videos, but I figured we'll just do one proper go at a bunch of mini locks all at once, just because you know a lot of people are having fun with those. And these I find to be a lot of fun to pick. Nothing too challenging in the bunch. There's number one, which is my little ace. Next we've got a TSA. 007, always smile when I see that. Uh, this one was actually left on the house that we bought, um, the house that we now live in. The upstairs bedrooms had, all right, let's try a different one, had these brackets on the outside of the doors. I think. I am hoping that it was because they wanted to keep grandkids out of certain rooms, because I know that these people were all about their grandkids, but it felt a little too Cinderella for me. So there's the TSA. One of my earliest locks is this little bitty master lock. A long time, it was the smallest one in my collection, but as you see, he's got some friends now to keep him company, and I do like to keep them all together just because, again, most of them are not too challenging. It's just, it's a fun little, fun little chain to work through. Come on. There we go, there's the master lock. Who's up next? No name. I got these little no name ones and I don't think, oh, it does have a key but I'm sure nobody is surprised to hear that I got those from Habitat for Humanity Restore. My go-to source for locks. Still miss the one where I used to live. I have not found any good locks since our most local one has undergone new management. Now, first tiny. As this guy is, he's fighting me just to get tensions. Well, let's just go down the chain. That's the nice thing about a chain is if one's giving you too much trouble, you can always jump down to the next one. All right, my Abus, the first Abus I ever successfully picked. This was sent to me by Panda Frog as part of a speed locks competition at one point. Still miss speed locks, still appreciate Panda Frog and all that he has done and continues to do for the community. There's the Avis. There's the one we bypassed. By bypass, we just mean jumped past. I see my battery dying, as we always know. Batteries are my limiting condition for filming duration. I not yet learned that today I seem to be picking best Euro style. This one looks like the master, the little master lock that I have, but it has no markings on it. The master doesn't either. I've had it so long, worn it out, but I don't think I ever had markings on this one. Hmm. Skipping down. Is the best way so I guess I kind of want to ask for any of you to tell me what's your favorite way to tension these teeny tiny locks because that is the biggest challenge isn't it trying to get a tensioner in there and still have room for a pick I think it'll do any good if I go the other way. Clearly, I need to make some more of these twists the other way. I know that when Chris, was it Chris Capoon? 
we first talked about these universal tensioners, and then I know Fish Picks talked about um, twisting them the other way because it works better. I don't know. I think that I know I, that Fish Picks talked about changing the way you twist it. I think Chris Capoon did it first. And the big brother to all of these. Another little no name. All right, so not sure how much time we've taken, but five done, skunked by three. I'm gonna call that.